Asclepius. Apollo also had some children, one of whom was Pan, the goat-footed god of the woods, but of him we shall tell in a later book. Another of his sons was the renowned physician Asclepius. His mother was Coronis, daughter of the king of Thessaly, but she died as soon as she had given birth to him. Apollo then placed the child in the care of the wisest teacher in the world, the centaur Kyrion, who lived on the thickly wooded slopes of Mount Pelion. Under Kyrion's guidance, Asclepius learned so much of medicine that in the end his knowledge surpassed even that of his teacher. Not only was there no illness he could not cure, but he had even learned the secret of restoring life. However, this was a blessing man, where not destined to enjoy for long, for Pluto, the lord of Hades, complained to his brother Zeus about this rising of the dead, fearing that if it continued, the kingdom of the underworld will soon be emptied. When the lord of the Olympus heard that dead were bringing back to life, he sprang to his feet in a rage. His brows darkened, his eyes took in a first on a fierce glint, and immediately the sky was filled with black clouds. Lightning flashed, thunder rolled, and the earth began to shake. It was as if all the heavens were tumbling down. Who is? He to change the established order and laws which govern the world, roared the Lord of the Gods and the Man, and instantly struck Asclepius down with a thunderbolt and sent him to the kingdom of Hades. Apollo was grieved at the loss of his son, but his death was mourned even more by the mortal man who had worshipped him above many of the gods. However, even from the underworld, Asclepius still had a power to help mankind and cure the sick. And all over Greece there were temples in, in his honor and other buildings called Asclepia, which were a kind of hospital, hospital and were always built in a healthy spot in each region. There are the priests of Asclepius, who were also physicians, cured the sick by consultation, with herbal medicines and through prayer. Asclepius was helped with his work by his daughters, Hygieia and Panacea. The first of these made sure that people lived in a healthy way to avoid illness, whilst the second was a wonderful pharmacist. She had compounded a medicine the like of which was nowhere to be found. It, too, was called the panacea. It was a very rare medicine, but it cured every disease. Or so, people say.